Okay, Ziz, why don't you kick us off? What did you find for us today? Uh, this news has come from Vanguard, Nigeria, and it says that the Plateau State Police Command has arrested eight persons in connection with the recent killings of people in the Mangu local government area of Plateau State. So there have been some very tragic recent killings in Plateau State, and luckily the state police has been able to find and arrest eight suspects in connection to this play, um, in connection to this case, and they are appealing to the public to help them to bring forward credible information that may help them to solve the cases even quicker. Hmm. I mean, I'm so glad that those people are getting justice, but it's so sad how that situation played out. Yeah. May their souls rest in peace. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Salma, what did you find first in the news today? Okay, so this week, um, the government has organized therapy sessions for women abusers. So the Lagos State Domestic and Sexual Violence Agency has conducted support and healing group therapy sessions for over 50 male perpetrators of domestic violence. And Viva Adeni noted that the support and healing group sessions aim to psychoeducate the perpetrators on better ways to manage their emotions when triggered. I'm just really happy that the government has finally um, been able to do something about yeah. yeah, but do you think that this would be effective? I mean, do you not think that they deserve a more hands-on, aggressive punishment like that is on the same level as their crime? crime? Yeah, basically. Yeah, I think that they do deserve um, what comes... I think they deserve more harsh punishment. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, if they're punished, then, like, where's the learning there? I think mm. that it's better for them to be educated on why they shouldn't do it. So, like, it would help, like, eradicate the problem more mm. strategically. Yeah. I think all in all, punishment should focus on being reformative mm. so that we can actually get the effect of it. What's the point if they are just going to get angry and then come out of jail, if they go to jail and then do the same thing? I mean, there should be yeah. some kind of change at the end of the day. Yeah. So, more like, what do you have for us today? IGCSE results. Hey. Uh -oh. <laughs> for the 2022-2023 academic session. Mm. So, yeah. I'm seeing you guys smiling. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you remember IGs? I remember. Mm. It's no joke. It's no joke. Well, yeah. well done to everybody that did the exam. And I hope you heard good news. Yeah. So, from me, I'm getting my news from Vanguard. The former Emir of Kano, Sanusi Lamido, says that Nigerians take too much rubbish from politicians. According to Sanusi, if the politicians are not held to account, coming generations might have no country to call theirs. So what he basically said is that, listen, if he wanted to, be, if he wanted to do politics, and he's not even just speaking for himself, like if anybody wanted to do politics, they could run, they could be the governor, they could be the president, they could have that kind of power. So these people in these positions of power, they are human beings. So we should hold them accountable. If they do bad things, we should hold them accountable. We shouldn't feel subservient because at the end of the day, leaders are there to serve. That's true. And, yeah. you know, as future leaders, that is something fundamental that we need to understand. What do you guys think? I 100% agree with what you said. Mm. We're here to serve. Exactly. We need to think more about the people. Exactly. So we shouldn't be afraid to... Say when we think this leader has done something wrong or to, you know, give some constructive criticism, not just blatant complaining. So in lighter news, it's National Tell a Joke Day. Now, I'm not sure if you all know this, but I'm actually a comedian. And so are my lovely co hosts <laughs> <laughs> So why don't we just tell some jokes? I'll get started because, as I said before, I'm extremely hilarious. What do you call a bear with no teeth? Barely any teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any idea what you call it man with no teeth? No. no. You guys are going to die when I tell you that. No, it's it's a, a, a gummy bear. Um, a, a gummy bear. No, we had the first time. Awkward music. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys have any jokes? Yeah. Um... Why did the chicken cross the No, line? it's okay. I'll, I'll cut you off there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. I have one. Okay, let's hear it. Knock, knock. Who's, Who's the, the chicken. Who crossed the road? No, this is who. <laughs> Ch the chicken who? <laughs> the chicken who crossed the road. What? <laughs> okay, so obviously my joke was the best. No, no. 
<laughs> anyway, do you have a joke? Um, okay, let me think. Mm-hmm. What is one reason why you can't trust atoms? What? <laughs> so why can't you trust atoms? Because they're toxic. Because they're tiny. <laughs> no, because they make everything up. That's uh, it. <laughs> okay, so what? Okay. So, thank you guys. Don't forget to crack a joke and make someone smile today. Hopefully, yeah. your jokes are a bit better than ours. <laughs> yeah, some so, IGCSE students are in desperate need of some jokes right now. Yeah, honestly, make their days a bit better. So, we're going on break right now. We'll see you in a bit.